And he was realizing that, you know, all these researchers that we hire are spending a whole lot of time going through libraries, reading through stacks of physics books, trying to figure out what the existing research says so that they can do new research. Sure. So he identified that's a problem. At a certain point, that's going to take more time than actually doing new work. Mm -hmm. And so he designs the Mimex as a way of storing. The idea is to use microfilm, which is just, it's like um, transparent film that fits on reels that has little pages copied on it. Um, They still have them in libraries. But the idea is it minifies a book down to something that can fit in your hand. Right. And the idea with the Mimex is that it would be a whole library crammed into a desk that you could peruse through these two touch screens. And then the really shocking thing that makes it tie directly into sort of the more longer lineage of computing is he came up with the idea of something very, very close. I wouldn't call it links, but very close to hyperlinks, you know, like little text you click on websites that connects pages together. Mm -hmm. His idea was that, you know, when you're thinking about looking through like ideas and papers in your head, you're not like, oh, then I need to go to page two and then page three. You're thinking about ideas and those kind of connect out in a spider web pattern, right? So you might think about trains and you're like, well, what about the wheels? How do those work? So that kind of dings around in this network in your mind. And so his big idea was that you could build up these, he called them trails of thought throughout your collection of books. So using those platens, you could take two pages, like bring up the page for train, bring up the page for train wheels and make a link between them. And then that way, next time you're looking at train, it's like, oh, there's a link to wheels and you just click it and it dings off to the next one. Okay. And if you build that up, you can make this database Essentially, you didn't call it a database because you didn't have the words yet. But mm-hmm. you can make a database of your train of thought um, for how you got to some idea or did some research. And then you could save that down and share it with your friends. So you could be like, hey, I was working on this train problem last night, and here's what I think about it. Maybe you'd like to put it into your personal memex and see what you have to say. Right. Okay. So. so- yeah. Well, well, so, I mean, can I kind of, because it seems like he's kind of thinking of like, you know, we have this issue, we have like a library or something of, mm-hmm. all, of all this stuff, like how can we make it easy, easier, more accessible? So this is kind of his idea. Um, is Was there a, like a search function included in this? Yeah, there'd be, so the, once again, it was never built, so. Right, okay, yeah. Who knows, but. Sure. There was a idea of being able to search things like paper title or page numbers or author names. Um, And part of that was there were machines that could index information about books on microfilm. There would just be like a really short code. Um, So like the first few letters of an author's name or something. So you could rapidly search through a whole reel of um, microfilm, but it wouldn't be something like Google. It would be a lot more primitive. Um, Okay. So it's kind of approaching something like a really antiquarian take on, say, Wikipedia, right? Yeah, right. Because it's this editable kind of database of human knowledge with links between pages. If Mm -hmm. that kind of meshes with the modern day. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This is my dog, Murphy. And these are dog treats. Now I'll give Murphy one of these dog treats. And all you have to do is press the like button. Just press that little like button right down there at the bottom of this video. And this sweet, adorable, cute little puppy gets a treat. All thanks to you. All right, you did it? Okay. I believe you. You said you did it. There you go, Murph. She got that treat because of you. Now, I'll eat one of these treats. And all you have to do is click that subscribe button right there, pointing to it. Just click that subscribe button, subscribe to Curiosityness with me, Travis DeRose. Get lots of good video, and I'll eat this treat. All right, you did that too? That's not very good.